Hi, I'm Mike Stanley with the Sensors Organization within NXP Semiconductor. And what I have to show you today is an example of doing machine learning in the end node of the, of the cloud. We're not actually doing learning in the cloud, we're doing it at the leaf nodes. And what I'm showing you here is a small development board that our MCU organization has put together. It contains a number of sensors. It contains an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a magnetometer, and it contains a microphone. We're using those as sources of data for doing machine learning. The specific application that we're interested in is called machine condition monitoring. And to that end, I have a couple standard uh, home style machines that you may have in your own home. And what we want to do is to be able to monitor the health of these machines. What I'm going to show you will apply to any machine with, with a motor anywhere in the world. These techniques are generic. Now what I have right here is an application where essentially we've embedded the machine learning algorithms right onto the MCU on this board. Now we have a board identical to this that's in, embedded back here in this box which is mounted to the board and there's no actual electrical connection to the fan at all. But what you'll find out is if you put your hand down on, on the countertop here, we can actually feel the vibrations. And that's what we're going to measure in this particular demo. Now what I'm doing here is I ha have a graphical user interface that shows our machine learning environment. And I'm going to start a machine learning starting on a new model. So we're training a new model. You'll see new data points in, in blue here. And as we get additional data points, the contour of the model will actually change and adapt to those data points. This typically takes about 30 seconds to 45 seconds to do, so I'll just keep on gabbing as we go. But you can actually see a probability distribution curve being computed here. And the curve in red shows our model. So everything that's showing up within the model represents normal behavior. Everything that's outside of that red curve is abnormal behavior. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock my model in, at this point I'm actually executing the model, which is testing for the health of this particular system. Now one way I can test, test that health, I like to introduce a fault into the system. Don't do this at home. You see we immediately have anomaly values that, are, that have been logged out here, and also up here on the screen we're sending an occasional packet of information whenever there's a state change. When we're going from nominal to abnormal or from abnormal to normal or to training, you'll, we'll send a two-byte packet up with that information. So again, if you would just focus on this real quick, because I want to show our, our viewers the, the case where we're going from nominal to abnormal. So you see that message changed right off the bat and now it should change back to nominal right away. So essentially what, you, what we are seeing right now is machine learning occurring right on the end node. Now the nice thing about this is this allows you to do a distributed environment where you're doing some uh, computation locally right at the machine and only as necessary do you actually transmit data up into the cloud for further analysis. We think this has lots of applications to a wide variety uh, of applications, not just machine condition monitoring. And with that, I think I'll uh, invite you to contact us at NXP Semiconductors, our sensors organization, if you'd like some more information. My name is Mike Stanley. It's mike.stanley at nxp.com. Thank you and have a great day.